Sorry guys, I'm not sure what happened with uh, my last microphone and audio, but hopefully this is working. Hopefully you guys are able to jump on. How is your day going? Come on in when you have a second. We'll try this again. I was uh, just uploading um, OBS software and I thought the microphone worked and the video worked, but apparently not. So hopefully this is working. Going back to the uh, old school way of directly through YouTube live. So we'll see. Hopefully you guys can jump on and join. Um, if you got an email notification, hope you guys can jump back in. Hey, Ken, can you hear me now? <laughs> All right. You can hear me nuts. All right. Good, good. Hey, Ricardo. Glad to have you guys on. Sorry about that. I was trying out the new OBS, um, uh, software and I was really impressed with everything, but apparently the audio doesn't work. So. Um, I got to look into it. Hey, Pokey Studios. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for coming on. Hey, Dom. Great to see you all. Happy Friday. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I uh, was hoping to have some fun surprises today with the uh, new software, but it'll have to work, wait for this weekend. Um, yeah, uh, Ricardo recommended um, this OBS software, and um, it's incredible. I, I'm just starting out with it, and... It's got a lot of amazing features that I look forward to kind of learning, but, um, Hey, music, babe, how's it going? How's your day? I, um, so yeah, the OBS has got some great potential. I, I really like the live stream chat features. I really liked, um, some of the metrics, some of the statistics and, uh, the fact that it can control my camera. So the video part of it looked amazing. Uh, the resolution, but um, apparently the audio had some lag to it or just didn't work at all. So, um, yeah, thank you, Dom. Yeah, it's something fun to play with. So I appreciate your guys' patience. And um, anything new like that, right, You uh, with software, it's kind of like, um, you know, you go down some fun rabbit holes. Hey, Ken Z. Awesome. You got the mail? Awesome. I'm glad. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope, um, I'm just glad you got, that somebody else got mail. I was getting really worried that I was going to have to, uh, be concerned about some of my other mail going out, but that's great. Glad you got it, Kenzie. Hey, Ricardo, how's your, um, how's your wife doing? How's, uh, the recovery with the wisdom teeth? Hopefully she's, she's feeling, uh, Relieved to have it over with. Is she feeling better? I know that can be really stressful. That's great information, Ricardo. High res. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I really need to probably look into my settings, Ricardo, and um, try to figure out. Because if it's using more bandwidth... For the video, that would make sense that the audio would be uh, impacted. Uh, she's talking a lot less. Yep. I, yeah, hopefully, did she just have two out or all four? Yeah, that, yeah, Dom, I, I need to play around with it. I mean, I think my, um, I need to check my, my upload speed, I know I've got really good download speed where I am, but I just need to make sure my settings are looking good. And um, I am using my my iPhone um, for all the uh, audio and video, and I wonder if it's something to do with that. Um, I think, but I'm really impressed with the software. I mean, you guys are right. It's great for chat. It's got some really cool features. Um, I like the statistics aspect to it. Um, it really seemed to connect easily to YouTube and it connected to my phone. No, no problem, but I just need to play around with it and test some settings, but I can see why so many people use it. Um, they, Ricardo, they took out two. Oh, they were close to the nerves. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you want to be careful with that, especially, yeah, I'm glad that she was able to get him removed. And uh, hopefully she can rest over the weekend. I'm sure you and your little man have got some fun plans. Maybe play some Pokemon. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I'm happy Friday. I'm glad you're on. I'm glad you're here. And um, yeah, I agree, Dom. I think it's amazing that you were the first one uh, in Europe to get the mail when Southern California is literally, I think I told this to Ricardo yesterday, like, you know, I could drive there and deliver hand deliver the mail right faster so that's kind of interesting but um yeah hopefully more more will get out um i know the other ken is in philadelphia i believe uh so hopefully he'll get his and then um we've got uh nuts you're in canada is that that correct nuts so you should be getting a bunch of envelopes your way and, um, yeah, the rest should be going out in Europe. I think France, ho hopefully that's not too much longer, but it would be great to get some out there to, uh, to Ken, Ken Suffix. Yep. Nuts is in Canada. Awesome. Well, happy Friday. I, uh, I think, uh, I've got some cards here to pack battle. I want to give you guys, um, Kind of a little insight if you want a little sneak peek of uh, what's to come today at 5 o'clock. I got some more old school cards. So you got the Pikachu. We got the movie promo. You guys saw the Venusaur. Uh, you saw the Dark Gyarados. And then uh, I got a Pichu promo from Wizards of the Coast that goes back many, many years. That's in great condition. Uh, I don't know any fans of Pichu, but yeah, I found this Black Star promo card. I got to check on my lighting because, wow, it really picks up a lot of the. Uh, but it's in really good condition. So it. Um, yeah, I've got a I've got a whole thing of promo cards. That's fun. I'm going to do some research. Uh, I think. Um, Dom, or no, Ricardo, was it, somebody sent me an email yesterday about the uh, pre-release Dark Gyarados, and I have to look for it. I might have it. What's interesting, so um, to kind of give you guys um, kind of a little history, and I'm sorry if you already know this, then I don't want to put you to sleep, but maybe you need a caffeinated beverage. But so the pre-releases come... Um, you know, at the event nights or event days that are held at um, card shops that are um, sanctioned by Pokemon, right? So you have to be authorized. And so the pre-release -pre only gets sent out at that pre-release. And so basically you have to have a card shop or access to one. And you basically have like a professor um, that, you know, is in charge of... Uh, of handing them out so that you only get so many each card shop only gets so many you don't like order them it comes with a kit so you get like so in my case my card shop we would get allocated so many um so many kits based on the history of our um store and so it's not like i could order like um you know, a hundred of these cards, right? They're just, Pokemon's just not going to give it to you or the distributor is just not going to give it to you. So you would get, you know, say you got 15 release kits, you would just get 15 of these cards. And when they're gone, they're gone. So it is kind of fun. I mean, you're not going to find a whole lot of them. You can find them on eBay, obviously. People sell them, people collect them, but, but that's how you get them. So, um, you know, sometimes you'll see a promo in a certain pack, but a lot of times the pre-releases, that's all you see is just at the event at a store, at a local store. So um, so the promos are handed out at events like, you know, this one for the movie the, with the promo. And then some of these came in special tins, but um, the pre-releases are hard to find. And then to make it even more interesting, they have... Um, like uh, 
like league special league um, cards as well that are really expensive. So if you ever go into like TCG player, you can look up card values and you'll see some and you'll be like, why is that card worth so much? And it's because it was either a pre-release or a specialty card that you could only get from, from your local card shop. So like I said, there's still value in card shops because, um, because of many things like that. And it really makes it fun. But, um, but yeah, that's why you, you kind of want to go and sign up to get, um, to get uh, registered so that you could get that, that pre-release and you get the lucky card as well. Sometimes like Toys R Us would do a pre-release and you would get like, um, I remember going in and you would get a promo card, but obviously they sell out really quick. I don't think Target does it. I think it was just something special to Toys R Us, kind of like McDonald's. All right, we got seven people. Let me try. Um, thank you for listening to my um, story about pre-releases, but they're a lot of fun. They're, it's like something really... Um... Oh, I do have Dragonite. Yeah, I... Um... I do. I, uh, I'll have to look. So let me write that down, Ricardo. I'll make a note to go diving for those cards. Um, so I wanted to look at another Dark Gyarados and then um, Dragonite. Yeah, I don't have a lot of pre-releases left, but I do have some. Like if we had a kit that was left over and somebody didn't claim it. Um, I might have some cards from that, but I just have, I have a lot of promos. I have, I have some ancient muse. I have a couple more ancient muse, I think. Yeah, the Mewtwo's are awesome. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I come across things and um, it's interesting because a lot of the cards I have stored will be like this where, you know, you got to look on the back too. So like you might have one promo and you're like, oh, that was it. And then on the back is another one. So I try to keep them um, kept, you know, in, um, by the way, this was a, an amazing poll. I still have to mail it out. But I was thinking if uh, we have multiple winners today, I would just mail out both today. So that's why I still have it. But, um, but uh, yeah, storing the cards is fun. I have a lot of the long boxes. I don't know how you all store your cards, um, but I have the long boxes that can store like 500 cards in them. And um, yeah, so hopefully you guys all have a fun way of storing your cards. But yeah, I recommend the, um, in fact, let me get one. Uh, you probably all know what I'm talking about, but they're the really long um, cardboard boxes and um, some people keep their bulk in there. You know, you can store multiple cards. Um, some people use the tins, but I, I really think, um, you know, utilizing um, the cardboard keeps them really safe and secure. Binders, ETB boxes, yeah, that's a great way of doing it. Um, I'm gonna try to go into kind of the old school way of YouTube to see if I can get in the uh, live chat so bear with me. I'm just trying to go over. But yeah, I need to play around with OBS. It's got so much potential, Dom and Ricardo. And I'm curious, have has anybody used OBS personally? Have you used it for any um, streaming? Like, does anybody stream on um, Twitch or, or any other platforms? Because I think OBS is really popular on um, Twitch as well. But um, uh, it seems like, you know, you can do lots of things with it. Oh, from your PS5? Oh, interesting. Okay. So does it have a way to just screen mirror, Dom, with your PS5 to where you can uh, stream to Twitch? All right. Yeah, I don't think I'm able to. I was trying to find a way to... Uh... Oh, here we go. 
All right, good. Here we go. All right, I finally found the chat. Thank you, guys. Yeah, PS5 has it all, even without a laptop. Yeah, so that's the other thing, too, is um, I know you guys are like, we're not here Friday to listen to, uh, you know, your computer setup, but, you know, I have a MacBook Air, and, you know, it's good, and it's great, and, you know, it's two years old, but, you know, it, it can only do so much, right? So that's why um, I'm curious what other people's setups are, um, because, you know, is it just me kind of trying to push the limits of my MacBook Air? You know, I, I know it's not exactly a gaming setup, but just to try to stream. So anyway... Um, I'll test out. You might see me come on live at different times. You don't have to join every single live. I might come on later this evening and try it out again. But um, yeah, I hope I hope my MacBook Air. I don't want to have to go out. I'd rather put um, time and resources into Pokemon and not have to buy a whole nother setup. But um, yeah, hopefully the MacBook Air works uh, just fine. But um, all right, we have nine people here. I hope everybody, Rubicon, good afternoon. Rubicon, question for you. Did you happen to get a package or any envelopes? I hope you have good news. Oh, still no mail. What in the world? Ah, oh man, because uh, Ken Z got his mail. He's in Florida. Thank you, Ricardo. Yeah, please like the stream. Yeah, because Rubicon, I have more coming to you that I shipped out a couple days ago. Um, I might have to confirm your, I'll confirm your, um, your address. I mean, it's in Santa Ana. Yep, Santa Ana. Oh, Santa Ana, Bolivia? No, I, no, no. <laughs> I hope not. That's, uh, no, no, not Santa Ana, Bolivia. Um, shoot. I, yeah, hopefully, hopefully somebody else didn't get it, um, because I've got some nice cards in there, but yeah, let's stay tuned, I'm excited Ken Z got it, I don't know, uh, the other Ken is in Philadelphia, so hopefully he gets his soon, um, but yeah, let's keep an eye on it, um, otherwise, um, Hopefully you get it tomorrow, but yeah, I definitely mailed it a week ago, so man, I can't imagine. I mailed them all at the same time. I'll send you an email later. Okay, thanks, Rubicon. Um, so great. We've got pack battles. I know I appreciate you all coming here on a Friday, and um, thank you for being patient. I'm testing out a new setup, and I kind of had to drop it and go back to OBS or from OBS back to just regular YouTube. So I appreciate you all. Um, and um, anybody that's new on, do we have anybody that hasn't done a pack battle? Now is your chance. I would love to give you a shout out, introduce you. Happy Friday. We've got nine people here, which is great. Anybody brand, brand new that's never done a pack battle before would love to kind of have you step forward and we'll match you up with somebody, one of our veteran battlers. And um, otherwise, we'll get to it. We'll start syncing up people. I know Nuts was on here, but I think uh, Ken Suffix was here. Maybe Ken and uh, Ken Suffix and uh, Nuts for sure. That'll be our first round. But um, yeah, everybody, please look for your mail. Please, uh, you know, definitely, I appreciate sending me an email when you do get it. Ken Z, I, I'll look for your email. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I, I know I have more coming out to you, um, so I'm glad it's getting delivered to your house. Um, so question, so I have two of these left. Oh, nice. I didn't, oh, okay. Your daughter's watching with you. Awesome. I am so glad. Um, so we got, yeah, we got a pack of 151 left and then I've got a bunch of temporal forces. So, um, I have actually one more 151, 
and then I have a new booster box of temporal forces if we get enough people. I was thinking a Friday, you never know. We might have 10 more people that join. You just never know. I know um, anybody that was able to take the poll, I really appreciate it. I think I've had eight responses so far, and it really helped me out. I think a large percentage of people, at least 50%, said um, 3 p.m. Pacific works well. And then I had maybe 15 or 20% say that 4 o'clock worked well for them. So part of me is wondering to try out 3.30 to 4.30, but for now it's still 3 o'clock. But, um, but I think today, who knows, we might go past 4 and... Um, if we get some new people from that, then maybe I'll, I'll shift it to 3.30. But anyway, just wanted to kind of let everybody know, thank you for taking the poll. I really appreciate the feedback, and um, it really helps me because um, I want to get the most people possible. I know we've got some people in the Philippines, and, um, and I believe one gentleman in Hong Kong, so I would imagine they're not able to join any of these, so... Um, so you're the lucky ones, and I appreciate you always uh, coming on. So, um, so yeah, Ken Z, if your uh, if you if your daughter's watching with you, if you have, absolutely feel free to have her obviously pick out the numbers and um, pick from the packs. I kind of wanted to do something different today. If we do get to temporal forces, you know how I traditionally let you pick um, you know a number in my hand. What I thought would be fun and what I used to do in my store is um, when we unbox it, you get to pick the side and the number of card and I, I don't touch anything. So I thought that would be fun because some people are like, you know, it's definitely in the back on the left side or it's definitely in the middle on the right. Some people are not superstitious, but, you know, they kind of like like to pick certain cards and, and I totally get it and it's fun. Um so I certainly want to kind of try that today. If anybody's up for Temporal Forces, uh, a lot of great cards in there that we have yet to un not see yet. Um, oh, Ken Z, she wants Temporal Forces. I like it. All right, we'll do it. Um, so, so I think first we have Ken Suffolk and Nuts. If you guys are still here, I think we have 10 people on. This is exciting. If this is your first time on our live pack battle, please just um, introduce yourself. You don't have to say much. You can just um, say hi that you're here, but welcome. Um, and yeah, Kenzie, I, I really appreciate that your daughter's able to hopefully enjoy it and is uh, has some fun with the pack battles as well. Dom, you've opened ETBs, tins loose, booster packs, but I've never opened a booster box in your life. Oh, really? Wow, I I I thought you were a veteran, Dom, with these um, booster boxes. I um, yeah, I uh, they're they're a lot of fun. I you know I think you know one of the things about the card shop is it never wore off for me as far as the excitement of a booster box. Um, I was really fortunate to open many booster cases in my life and in my history of my store. And, um, I got to say, yeah, opening up a booster case, right? So there's six boxes in a case. So six of these, and, um, and that's really the best way to, to be guaranteed that you're going to get some secret rares. That's how we pulled a secret rare Charizard back in the, um, the gold Charizard and, um, we all thought that was just the most amazing thing ever, but, um, yeah, they're expensive to open. I, um, you know, what's interesting is, you know, I don't want to get into the whole, I know we're here to open packs, but the margins on these are surprisingly low. Like, you know, the, what the stores get them for is not like a crazy deal. Um, so yeah, it's very expensive, even for stores like to open them up. So, um, so kind of a little kind of business side note, but um, you're absolutely right. I, I would imagine in the UK, it's very expensive and I know shipping is expensive. Absolutely. Um, all right. So do we still have Ken and Nuts? Are you both here? I know Nuts is here. 
Ken Suffix, are you still here? Um, but nuts, what, uh, let's see if Ken is, hopefully he's still here. Mr. Ken Suffix. Yep, I know Nuts is there. Hopefully you guys are all having a good day. I don't have a beverage near me right now, but if you guys have a beverage, hopefully you've got a root beer, a Diet Coke. Diet Coke sounds really good right now. Maybe some sparkling water. Nuts wants 151. Do we still have Ken Suffix? Call it, calling Ken Suffix. Your table is ready. Um, yeah, if not, we'll hook up, uh, one step ahead of you. All right. Yeah. I appreciate it, Dom. All right. Yeah, that's why I think, um, that OBS software would really help, um, so I can kind of navigate some things as well. Diet Coke, Dom. All right, cool. Yeah, I am really jealous of the Diet Coke right now. That sounds amazing. Um, all right, Ken Suffolk here. Ken, are you okay with 151? I hope I don't have to twist your arm with this. How does that sound for you? I know uh, Nuts wants 151. Do we have consensus from you? Hopefully that's okay. And then we can get into some temporal forces. You never know. These are the two left over yesterday from the booster bundle. And um, so, Ken, if you could let me know which one is good for you. And we can rock and roll. But um, thank you guys for all liking it. I think we've got seven likes so far. We got 10 people here. Welcome. Back phone dialed. Back phone died. Oh, no. Good, Ken. Yeah. Yeah, I've got mine plugged in at all times, and I know... Uh... Hey, Chanel. Good afternoon. Yeah. Oh, good. We have nine likes now. Awesome. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, all right, Ken. I have your name down first. Ken, would you like number one or number two? Number one or number two? Thank you, everybody. I think we have 10 people here today. We are tying a record. Let's see if we can set a record today. Maybe I'll just keep talking <laughs> until I get a Diet Coke. All right, number one. All right, that was the lucky one yesterday. All right, good luck. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, sharing with friends, neighbors. Show off your your cards to everybody. Feel free to tell your local store about my channel. You don't have to be shy about it. I will still get amazing things out to you. Um, if you guys are looking for any specific trainer cards, any kind of bulk that you have seen me pull, I'm happy to get that out to you as well. I'll try to jam as much as I can in an envelope for your winnings. This is a lot of fun. All right, Ken Suffix. Good luck. Execute. Machop. That Machop has been, Machamp has been amazing battling it out in the last few go arounds. Charisma. Cloister. Grabber. Clefairy. Ooh, Graveler. Oh, Charizard EX. What? What in the world? Ah, congratulations, Charizard 330. I think that just takes everybody today. Oh my goodness. Wow, congratulations. Ken Suffix. I can't call a winner yet, but this is a great card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And some shiny energy. Beautiful card. That's a first. I got to sleeve it. Sorry. Sorry, I got to take a, a time out. Everybody stretch. Drink your favorite beverage. I got to find my penny sleeves. And...
All right, I'm putting it in a top loader. Incredible pull. I'm even putting this energy. Good luck. All right, that was incredible. You never know. I think these pull rates for 151 have just been really nice. Look at that Charizard. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Bring that in a little closer. That was a really nice pull. Congratulations. But we have another pack. It's still possible. Could be another Charizard. All right, nuts. You're here. Thank you. We got nine people on. Thank you, guys. Thank you for liking. I really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around on a Friday through uh, some kind of fun technical difficulties, but we'll get there. We're growing together. Hopefully you're having fun. What was the last Pokemon thing you opened for you, Scott, before you started streaming again? Oh, great question. It was uh, Ho-Oh. So I've got this... Um, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been, it's been, great question, Ricardo. Um, sorry, nuts. Uh, it's been probably three years since I've opened anything. It's so I'm absolutely like, I feel like a kid again. This is so much fun. Like 151 just brings back so many memories that, um, that, uh, you know, I, yeah, it just makes me, you know, want to collect the base or not collect, but, you know, revisit my bait, my base set cards again. Um, so yeah, it brings back a lot of memories. Charmeleon, that might be coming out to Kenzie. I've been, I might have sent you some more cards, Kenzie, with your last winning. So, um, all right, nuts, Parasect, let me focus. Sorry. Nidoran. Oh, what in the world? What? What? What in the world is going on? You did it. What? What? Nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. 3.30. You did it, nuts. Congrats. You pulled it. And a Jolteon, 110. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. Wow. Charizard battle, I know. Let me sleeve it up. Hold on. All right, let me sleeve it up. That's crazy. You're shaking. Yeah, I'll sleeve it up. I think I have might have to send this with some insurance. Um, so this one I'll definitely send with a tracking. I'm not going to send it with my three stamps because I don't want it to get lost. Um, so yeah, this Charizard graded as um, as uh, Dom knows. Um, Dom, you have a nine, is that right? You got a nine graded right out of the pack, and. Um, so yeah, this bad boy is expensive. So I'll be sending it with a um, with a uh, tracking label to you, nuts. But um, so I think I should make the executive decision that uh, Ken Suffolk gets this Charizard EX. If you're okay with that, nuts, and this Charizard, I think um, I think you guys both uh, are winners. Are you okay with that? You guys, give me a thumbs up. If we have two winners with that. So we get, you guys both get uh, a Charizard EX. I don't want to do a, a pack battle upon pack battles. That just gets, uh, isn't that like the old card game of war? Where, uh, I don't know if you ever played war when you were kids. But, um, but yeah, Ken Suffix, Charizard EX, and then Nuts. Charizard EX full art. I think that's fair. Maybe maybe the rest of you guys can chime in. Um, 
but I think that's incredible. Um, good for you, Ken Suffix. Cool. And there could be more Charizard EXs. I know this is a, a pretty amazing pull, but, um, but yeah, that only took, I don't know. I know somebody's got to keep track of this, but I, uh, I might hold on to this, um, to shoot some more video. I hope that's okay with you nuts before I ship it out. Cause I would like to feature it on what can be pulled in, um, pack battles and, um, you know, not to kind of shoot a little eye candy, but I think it's, um, I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, to show what, what you can win, but, um, that's a crazy poll. So yeah. So Ken EX and nuts Charizard EX. Holy cow. Yeah, it's going to come to you and I'll, I'll give you a tracking number and everything. So, uh, um, so that way we know it doesn't get lost in the snow on the way to your house. Wow. That was incredible. Congratulations. That was fun. All right. Um, yeah, Dom, you on here? Yeah. Kenzie, if I pull anything, you can have my winnings. Oh man, that's crazy, Dom. That's really nice of you. Um, but yeah, I got to read through Dom. I think, yeah. Yeah, this so this is like a hundred dollar card just the way it is, um, which is absolutely crazy. Sorry, I don't hope I don't bother everybody, but I just want to take a moment. So, what is amazing from me as you know a previous store owner, and you know I would sell cards like this, you know raw in the store ungraded, and so what what is amazing is this card is worth as much as a, you know, like a damaged um, uh, base set Charizard, which is just incredible. I mean, the fact that you can still go out and, and buy packs of this, right? It just shows you just how popular this card is right now. It's absolutely, uh, it's, it's just mind-blowing. It's a beautiful card, absolutely. But um, just from the, like the history of, of Pokemon and collecting, and how much like a base set pack would be. I, I can't even imagine how much a pack would be. But um, yeah, PSA 9, $120. Yeah, absolutely right. So cool. Absolutely cool card. They're still out there. And I think this, you know, Charizard, there's, you know, um, there's other cards, Blastoise, the, um, the Venusaur that was pulled. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's iconic, right? And so I think the demand is going to just keep driving this 151 set. So kind of a conversation for me, a question to you all, like, you know, would you set aside, you know, some boxes of this or would you just open them up? So kind of a question, curious what you guys think. Um, obviously it's fun to open it up, but as far as an investment, if you guys are ever thinking about that, yeah, would you just keep some 151? Because it could be one of those sets that, you know, this box, you know, could literally be worth, you know, $100 in a couple years. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's a nice looking card. I mean, it's it's uh, packed fresh, right? So I'm trying to kind of show any uh, any angles, but that's why I like to sleeve it right away. Um, you try and look for any whiting. So they call it whiting. If you have, I'll try and show you like an example, but you know what I mean? Like, so if there's any kind of whiting along here, a lot of times it's where the card is, um, you know, pushed with a nail or, you know, hits, hits your binder kind of funny. So yeah, congratulations. No curl to the card. It's flat. Um, yeah. That's why you're here. Hopefully that's why more people want to join and do some pack battles. I wish I could guarantee a Charizard EX full art for everybody, but um, you never know. There's going to be, there's going to be more, right? There's going to be others. So <coughs> congratulations. I wish I had a Diet Coke to uh, 
congratulate you with right now and say cheers, but um, that's a nice pull. Um, all right. What a way to start. I, 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 I don't know. I don't want to stop right there, but how do you, how do you keep going from this? Like, this is incredible. Yeah. <clears throat> so great question. Yeah. Those are dumb. Those are great questions. Yeah. If you want to send it out to get graded, um, I highly recommend it, uh, to take it into your local card shop. Maybe if you have one, um, nuts in your area. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're definitely looking at a nine, if not a 10. Some people are super picky, obviously at PSA. I know people like Dom, right? You get it back as a nine and they're tempted to open it up and resubmit it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you can make that decision. Um, sometimes your card shop will submit it for you and provide you, or you could do it yourself. I think you have to get a membership and Dom could probably tell you more about that because I personally have never um, gotten uh, cards graded. I've looked into it and um, I actually don't want to give it away, but I have a card that I want to have looked at. Um, that's going to be part of an upcoming giveaway, but um, it might be related to this one. But that's as much as I'll say for now. But um, maybe that'll be at the road to 500. But um, it's in no way this condition. This this is like a 9 or a 10. So congratulations. All right. Who's up next? Who's ready? We got, um, I might need some help from Dom or Ricardo. Um, who else was here next after Ken and Nuts? Jim. Jim, you're here. Jim. I was just, uh, I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Hey, um, question for you, Jim. I know you gave me, uh, a mailing address. I hope it's okay for me to say, but back east, we'll just say back east in care of somebody. Have they received any packages yet, Jim? Do you know? Oh, oh, cool. You just got my mail today. Well, hey, yay. Somebody else got it. Okay, good. All right, because I'm starting to lose faith in my post office. I might, I was going to have to go down there and and use my um, my big voice. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. But um, I uh, I think they do an incredible job. But, um, but I'm glad you got it. Okay, good, because I have, I there's more mail that, I have sent out, so that was stressing me out. So good, I can sleep better. Okay, good. Whew, all right. Okay, so we got Jim. Who else? Who was next? Anybody? Dom or Ricardo, do you remember? There's a, been a lot of chat, and that's why I was hoping OBS could help me determine who's here. Or I could just take somebody. Um, I will just bring... <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I worry. You know, that's another thing about mail, right? Is, uh, you know, in my neighborhood, um, there's a lot of just mailboxes on the street. And that's what I worry about is, um, you know, mail getting stolen. So hopefully it gets secure and, um, you know, gets, uh, that's why I want to send this Charizard EX will be, you know, sent with a, um, a uh, tracking, but it's, it's a lot of money to ship it to Canada. So, um, otherwise I try to use the stamps. All right. So we got Jim and who else? Jim and Dom. Okay. Music babe. All right. We could do Jim and Dom. Does that sound fair? Jim and Dom. Thank you, everybody, for liking this. That was an incredible first poll. Jim is here. I think Dom said temporal forces. Is that good for both of you? Temporal forces. Um, hopefully you guys are okay with that. Good timing because I will be back to work in a minute. Okay, good. I'm glad you got a little break. I got to move these guys back here. I am going to make some videos with Charizard. I hope that's okay. They're going to be there until they ship out. Okay. I might even, uh, 
Might even keep them until the evening and try to do some other live stream. Definitely want to do some uh, YouTube shorts with it and uh, feature these cards. All right, Jim, uh, don't blame me if I pull... Yeah, Nuts, get the Charmander and Charmeleon. Yeah, absolutely. That would be cool. Um, all right, let's open this up. I got to get my knife. That is an incredible pull. I don't know if you're still shaking nuts, but that was incredible. But I have faith that there's more out there. So since you are all on here, I have found some more 151 that might be coming Monday. So don't worry. There will be plenty of time for more 151. Yep, you witnessed the legend moment. Absolutely. That was fun. It was real. Um, I want to make sure I get these all. Oh, I have so many fun stories about um, my packs in the store and where I would find things. All right. So we've got two sides to a booster box and... Obviously, a left and a right. So what's going to make this fun is you get to pick which side and what number. And I'm not touching a thing. Well, I mean, I got to open it up. But, um, but yeah. So let's see. Jim, you guys get the honors first. Jim, since you got to go to work, thank you for coming on. I know... Everybody's busy. Hopefully you guys have a great Friday evening, enjoying your favorite beverage, having a diet a root beer. My lucky number from the fortune telling app is 16. All right. Is number 16 on the right or left? You want the right or the left? The left or the right? Yeah, I have a water gym. Oh, 16th back on the left. Thank you. Okay, I just needed to read it. Okay, here we go. So it's back one, but let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, there it is. Temporal forces. Good luck to you. Dom, you're on it. I love it. Thank you. Now I just have to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That, it's been a fun week. I've been on my own all week. And uh, my family just got back, so it's been it's been fun. I have to remember lots of things now. All right. Winning pack is in there. Here it is. This could be it. All right. Good luck, Jim. Cute fly. Relor. Ooh, Sandy Shocks. Hand trimmer. Nice trainer card. If we see any um, trainers for our friend Ken Z, uh, give me a shout out, Ken Z. Ooh, 150. Mudsdale. Oh, Incineroar EX. Full art, 320. Ah, let's go. Wow. Nice card. Hi, 320. Very nice. Jim, congrats. Jim, what the heck? Right out of the gate. How did you know? How did you know, Jim? I'm glad you came on. See, work and wait. Work's overrated. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Fortune Teller app, huh? Wow. That's incredible. All right, Dom, I got to go back. See, I already forgot. Six on the right. Okay, thank you, Dom. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. <laughs> oh, I need to... Uh, I definitely need... Um, 
somebody to remind me. All right. Yep. Thank you, Dom. Six on the right. Okay. That incineroar. You know what? I got to sleeve that up. I don't want him just standing there on his own. These are some incredible pulls. I don't know how I'm kind of worried about the rest of the, uh, of the day. All right, there it is, Incineroar. All right. Yeah, this is an incredible... Yeah, that's another thing is, uh, you know, I would love to share, you know, and make some more videos about, you know, that Charizard EX full art, but, you know, I don't want people to think every pack I have is that. So, anyway, they should know. But, um, all right, good luck to you, Dom. We still got lots of cards Lots of cards. Turtonator. Exadrill. Screamtail. Oh, Awakening Drum Trainer. Nice trainer card. Bronzer. And Fluttermane. Fluttermane 90. Two nice cards. But not enough for Incineroar. 320, congratulations, Jim. Jim, I would normally ask you to stay for the uh, the full video, but I understand if you're uh, if you got got work to do, you got to get back to work. Congratulations. All right, man, I just can't believe it. What a pull! Two rounds amazing pulls great job charizard ex charizard <laughs> ex full art incineroar unbelievable i don't know how great thank you guys who do we have left we have ricardo do we have music babe do we have who else is still here? We've got, oh, it looks like we have four people still on. Thank you for joining. Thank you for staying with us. An incredible afternoon. This is exciting. Chanel's still here. Rubicon, awesome. All right, let's do Chanel and Rubicon. Let's do Chanel and Rubicon. I'm glad you're both here. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right. What do you think, Music Babe and me this time? Uh, we could do that. Is that okay? Yeah, we could do Music Babe versus Pokey Studios. We could do that. Is that all right? Yeah, Chanel. What's That sounds fair. And then Rubicon will get you in the next one. All right, music babe, I'm just updating my notes, and Pokey Studios, all right. I think you're both from uh, the same area in London, so I'm glad you're both here. All right, so, all right, music babe, you did your push-ups, great. All right, so... Left or right, and then what number? And we'll get, well, I have enough cards for everybody who's still here. I really appreciate it. I just was kind of sidelined by that Charizard EX. That just took my breath away. So music, left or right, and what number would you like? And I literally do need some music. That's That was my other, uh, I was checking out this OBS software, but I wanted some kind of background music to be playing too. But now you might hear some rain because uh, it's raining today in, uh, in Northern California. All right, music babe, which, which uh, side, left or right? And... Yep, we still got Ken here, Ken Z. You left last pack, all right, you got it. There it is, it was hiding. All right, good luck to you. It is a Charizard kind of day. 
Who knew? Charizard likes the rain here. I guess uh, they're not afraid of anything. Thank you guys for liking this. This is incredible. What a day. The polls have been amazing. I wish every poll could be like that. I certainly, when I had my store, I wished everybody could have an amazing card like that. All right, Music Bay, good luck to you. Fortress, Full Metal Lab Trainer, Go Lurk, Metagross, another Go Lurk, 160, Iron Thorns, 140. Future Iron Thorns, 140. All right, that's respectable. That's a pretty high number, 140. All right, Music Babe. The card to beat is 140, Pokey Studios. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Jim, thank you for hanging out on a Friday. Congratulations. And yeah, I don't want the boss to get upset with you. So have a great uh, Friday. And uh, hopefully see you this weekend maybe. But uh, thanks for letting me know you got your cards and your envelopes. And um, have a great day. Okay, right 11. All right, now I got to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All right, there it is. This is fun. Fun Friday pack battles. We are coming up on 56 minutes. This is incredible. Wow, it feels like it's been five minutes. I'm sure for some of you it feels like it's been two hours, but thank you for your patience. This is a lot of fun. I get to live vicariously through you and open up some packs. All right, the card to beat is Iron Thorns 140 Pokey Studios Frostmouth Oh Delmise Chinchino Whimsicott Whoa Wug Trio EX two fifty What in the world? We haven't pulled that one yet, I don't believe. Wug Trio EX. Tricolor Pump. Numbing Hold. Great card. Oh, congratulations, Pokey Studios. Pokey Studios, I have lots of mail coming out your way, too. So hopefully uh, you start receiving that. I know Dom got his cards first, so you should be getting yours pretty quickly where you uh, live in the UK. So, um, yeah, let me know when you start getting yours, Pokey Studios. Congratulations. And, yeah, just send me a mail, email, or next time you come on here, let me know. Um, congratulations. Wug Trio. I don't think we've pulled that card yet. That's new to me. Yeah, great battle. 250 to 140. I'm going to put these back to back and then ship them out. I'm going to make a video today. What I like to do is um, I like to highlight, you know, what was pulled today or every day in pack battles and um, just give people an idea of, of what we do, how fun it is, and um, hopefully get some new people coming in. And I just can't believe these pulls today, but uh, incredible. Lots of EXs. Um, I wish every uh, pack had an EX. That's what I used to tell kids when they would come in my shop is like, they would ask me, Scott, where's, where's the EX? I'm like, I wish, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. All right. I promised um, Rubicon was next. And Rubicon, do we still have Ricardo? Ricardo, are you here? Yeah, Ricardo's here. You want Rubicon and Ricardo? Left four, okay. One, two, three, four. All right, Rubicon, I appreciate it. You are on the spot. 
I really hope those cards have gotten to you and somebody else hasn't found them. All right, let's see what we got. A fresh pack. Had some good EXs so far. All right, good luck to you, Rubicon. Ooh, that's a new card. Dunsparce, Snom, Pikachu. There you are. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Rapidash, 110. Oh, Neo Upper Energy. Beautiful card. Beautiful energy. Oh, a Walking Wake EX. How is this possible? How? What kind of pack was this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back it up, back it up. A Neo Upper Energy, a Walking Wake EX, full art, 220, and a Roaring Moon. Wait a second. How did that happen? What kind of pack is this? What kind of box is this? I, I worry that the rest of this, I don't know what's going to be in there. This is incredible. Hold on. I'm sorry. This is going to take forever today. I apologize, but I got I to gotta sleeve these up. This is incredible. We haven't had these kind. We, can't, we haven't had these kind of pulls. Wow. A walking wake. Nice pull. Rubicon. Wow. That's incredible. Okay. Wow. Nice card. I don't know if you can see that. A lot going on. A lot of art. Okay. Ricardo. Mr. Ricardo. Yeah, congratulations. That is incredible. Incredible pull. Yeah, first time seeing that. Absolutely. We haven't pulled that yet. We've got Charizard. We got Incineroar, Wug Trio, Walking Wake. Yeah. Any pack. Okay. Uh, let's pick the back right. I don't know. I don't know. You might blame me if it's not anything worthwhile, but I just can't believe this, this booster box. This has been incredible. Thank you, everybody, for joining and liking this. I appreciate it. Thank you for sticking with us. Another Pikachu. Pikachu. Ghastly. Sizzlepeed. Explores Guidance. Gladius. Ancient Booster. Melmetal. Breloom. Bianca's Devotion. What? What? Look at that. Beautiful card. And Breloom. Congratulations to Rubicon. Congratulations. These hits are amazing, guys. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Let's check out this card. Bianca's Devotion. Congratulations to Rubicon with the Walking Wake EX. Beautiful card. Who knows, maybe tomorrow you're just going to get a ton of mail from me, I hope. I hope that's the way it goes. Beautiful card. Unbelievable pulls today. Unbelievable. Thank you, guys. Everybody who's here, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for liking it. I appreciate it. All right. I know we got Ken Z. Ken Z has been patient. Patient, patient. 
and your daughter, Kenzie. And I'm glad you got the cards. Rubicon, that was amazing. Walking Wake. All right, who do we have? We've got Ken Z and Chanel. Thank you for being on. And yep, Ken Z's here. All right. Let's see, we got guys. I guess I could battle Ken Z. I got Ken Z. I yeah, I I sure hope you get it. Like I said, I hope uh I hope you get a bunch at the same time, uh Rubicon. Uh let's see, Ken Z and his little one. Good luck. That's very, very sweet of you, music babe. All right. Let's look at that full art again. Beautiful card. We have not pulled Bianca's Devotion. Beautiful card. Unbelievable pulls today. I will definitely be featuring all of these on a YouTube short and then another video. I just think they're incredible pulls. Congratulations. Okay, she says right eight. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number eight, good luck. Um, Dom. No, Dom, I think, yeah, you, uh, nothing yet. I will be sending you, though, something I'm digging through my cards, looking for something specific for you, uh, Dom. And, um, because I don't want to just send you any old mail, but, um, yeah, nothing, nothing else this week from me, Dom, but I will be sending you out something once, uh, I think I sent you an email last night or this morning, but I just wanted to try to find another card for you. Um, all right. Okay. Yeah, I think Music Babe and Pokey Studios are in the same area. All right. Uh, or same um, general area. All right, Kenzie, this is it. Good luck to you and your daughter. Here we go, Meryl. Gallet. And remember, anything in here that you see, I'll try to get some trainers out to you, too. I may have sent you some more trainers already. Hand Trimmer. Rabska. Fortress, there's another <laughs> Lick Licky, Grottle, oh, Incineroar EX, congratulations, another Incineroar EX, look at that, another, might have to change your deck, I don't know, might have to add that to it, stream buffering too, all right, Incineroar, Ken Z, congratulations, I need to add that. I need to sleeve it. Congratulations. That is a heck of a pull, another EX. I gotta add that right now to a penny sleeve. Congratulations. Good, awesome. That is coming out your way. All right, Ken Z, good job. That is coming out. Congratulations, all right. I need to put that in a, put that in a protective top loader. Way to pull that. 320. Almost as strong as Charizard at 330. All right. Am I the only one left? 
I think we only have six people on. I appreciate everybody sticking around and um, liking the stream. And if nobody else is on, I will do a pack battle with Ken Z. Oh, Chanel, you're back. Okay, you're here. All right. Okay, Chanel, let's do which one, left or right? This will be it. This will be Chanel. Um, yeah, so Chanel, which side, left or right? You get to choose. Right 14. Okay, we'll see if there's 14 here left. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep, last one. I didn't even have to count, but there it is. All right, good luck to you. Incineroar 320 is the one to beat. Thank you, Ricardo. Good luck to everyone. Chanel, good luck. These cards were definitely fire today. That's what my son would say. Dad, that's fire. All right. Good luck to you. Cutify. Some incredible pulls today. Not sure how we could ever top this another day, but you never know. Cat. Gladius and ooh, Feral Gator. Nice card. 180. Still a beautiful card, but not enough versus Incineroar. All right. Ken Z, congratulations. Chanel, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. We will, I have cards come into you, Chanel, from this past week's poll. And um, Ken Z, I will get these uh, sleeved up and sent out to you. I'm going to shoot some more video featuring all of today's polls. And um, hopefully you guys had fun. Thank you for your patience. I was testing out a new software, and so I've got some kinks to work out on that. Um, Ken Z, hopefully your daughter had fun. Congratulations pulling that Incineroar EX. And um, to everybody, man... Ken Suffix with a Charizard EX. Nuts pulling that Charizard full art. Incredible. Let's uh, let me make some room. But uh, absolutely incredible pulls. This Charizard EX is gorgeous. I need to do some tracking on this to make sure that this gets to you safely. But congratulations. Uh, Incineroar. EX, Full Art, Jim, congratulations. Uh, we had Wug Trio EX, Pokey Studios, congratulations. Beautiful card, never seen that before. And Rubicon with the Walking Wake EX, congratulations Rubicon, that's coming your way. And Ken Z with the Incineroar EX. Congratulations. Uh, Dom. Oh, e yeah. So I, yeah, I want to send out more, e uh, more mail to you. Um, but I sent you an email before I send out any more cards. I want you, um, I want to look for some other cards for you. So I don't send you ones that you already have in your collection. So, yeah, I just wanted to see if you got my last email, um, and then I'll send you out some mail. Um, that was all. And let's see. Um, yeah, congratulations, everybody. Thank you, Dom and uh, Ricardo, for your help today and um, helping me stay organized. And, um, and both of you, Dom or uh, Ricardo, if you have any inside info on OBS, I might be reaching out to both of you um, with some tips. And um, also both, uh, this is for everyone that's still here. Um, and uh, But um, I am looking into, by this weekend, I will be setting up um, 
a uh, um, some other ways for us to communicate as a group uh, with everybody. So um, so look for that. And um, I just appreciate all of you guys uh, coming out. Um, we can get to know each other more on Discord. I'm going to be looking into setting up a server there. And um, so we can chat more and, um, and uh, get to know each other more there. But I appreciate you guys for coming on um, this, uh, this live. Yeah, definitely check out my Instagram too. I've got, uh, it's Rocket Scott with three T's. And um, I know several of you have uh, joined me there. So I appreciate that. And then I also like to feature cards there. Check out your collection. Um, I'll be sharing more content there as well about my collection and kind of what's coming up. Um, if you're kind of curious about like what I have, what um, I've got a lot of bulk, uh, vintage bulk cards, and um, you might see some about, you know, putting together a collection of vintage cards. I'll be featuring that. And yeah, Discord is, um, is a way for us to uh, communicate. And so um, yeah, I'll be sharing a link on, on the YouTube community page about that, but that'll come out this weekend. But, um, I'm just grateful for all of you always and, uh, making this fun. I hope you guys had fun. It's a fun way for me to spend a Friday. Hopefully you had a beverage, a diet Coke, a root beer, and, and got to, um, have some fun opening some packs with me. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to get you all some more mail and especially uh, the Charizard EX, both of them, EXs. How about that? Two of them coming out to you guys. So, um, yeah, congratulations. And um, so, yeah, I am so grateful. So, yep, same time tomorrow if you guys want to join at 3 o'clock. I hopefully will have my new software up and running and I can do chat a lot easier through that with you guys. Um, and... Um, I do want to throw out, um, yeah, I'll be able to throw it in the chat, you know, my Instagram and whatnot, but um, thank you guys for hanging out and uh, would appreciate your help growing the channel. I think we're at 130-ish right now, which is incredible, so, so excited that we're getting closer and closer to 200, and um, it's great. A lot of new people are being able to check out my videos and content. And um, and I think featuring these Charizards will get a few more people interested. So thank you. And uh, yeah, thank you, Dom. Yeah, thank you for all your kind uh, messages. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, nuts. It's it's literally nuts. You have the perfect name. It is nuts. It's uh, That was a crazy poll today. So congratulations and um, Everybody have a great, safe Friday evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. And um, I'll have a new video. I think it's coming out at 5 o'clock. But, um, again, if you guys weren't here, um, so these are some of the vintage cards. Dark Gyarados was the last one. And then Pichu, the Pichu promo, is going to be featured on today's video. So you guys get a sneak peek. But Pichu is coming to... 200. So at 200, we'll have another giveaway, which you all are entered in right away because you are the OG team of 100. How about that? You guys, I should get uh, hats or t-shirts made that you guys are OG Rocket Scott 100 members. So um, thank you guys. Have a great weekend and um, or a great Friday and see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.